All right. Getting to the sky. Which, how do we want to do this? Well, we have a part limit. I mean, we can probably get to the moon, frankly. But let's do... Hmm. So this got us, this prob, this wasn't gonna get us into orbit. But it got us pretty close. So maybe if we just add a little bit more fuel. That might not be enough fuel. And then if we add a little more initial impulse. So we have a kind of a lot of tonnage to work with here. Maybe if we just kind of did that, right? These Sepatrons are pretty cheap and they will get us up off the ground pretty quick. This might not work at all. Let's find out. Oh, also, we should add science. That's making me think maybe I should think harder about this because, um, first of all, I've again forgotten where science was. It's the bottom one, the sciencey thing. Uh, let's add the Kerbal Engineering System because can. And uh, I think that's all we really need. But let's should we add one more stage. Should we have like a an initial boost stage and then a going up stage and then an orbiting stage? Yeah, let's do that. I don't know if we really necessarily have to, but it's for fun. Uh, let's see. You know, this stage can be small. BT-45. Then... Always forget where the stack decouplers are. That's our going up stage. And this is our boosting off the thing stage. These tanks don't cost very much, do they? 850. 850 plus plus plus. Eh, you know, eh, it's not really worth it yet. But I am going to add more parachutes to our our actual spacecraft here because I can, frankly, and I don't want to lose all this sick science we're gonna bring back. All right, we do not need this last stage uh, decoupler either because we don't want to decouple. Well, I mean, I could, but we don't really want to. All right, so now this is our main rocket. This should get us there, right? 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 Or am I wrong? Am I wrong? I could be wrong. Staging is still all fucked up. Okay. Um, this one and this one go together, yes. This one and this one go together. That goes there. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Launch. So now that we have Kerbal Engineering... Engineering... Oh, for uh, we're gonna have a whole bunch of information we ha can have here. Honestly, the main reason I use this is the periapsisite to not have to look at the map. Uh, this is a little bit cheaty, but it is the sort of thing that would exist if you had a real space program. Now that see all our sepatrons gave us that kick right off the um, launch pad here, and also. If someone shows up and they know how Kerbal Space Program works, they are going to criticize my gravity turns. I'm sorry, I'm bad at gravity turns. In fact, I'm not sure you can do a gravity turn with this rocket. I'm turning too early, I know. Alright, we need to get up into the sky. Oh dear. Forgot to throttle up. That was a waste of efficiency. That might actually be enough that we should start over. Damn it. I don't know, maybe I've added too much mass. I think I might have added too much mass. There we go.
Oh yeah, we're not gonna make it. Not even close, but we might. No, okay. Reverse. So what did we do wrong? I am convinced that we do not have enough thrust. It might have been bad piloting, but I don't think that was the main, the only problem. Um, so that brings us to a more interesting question. We have radial decouplers now, right? So what we could do, get rid of you. And that, that wait, why did I do that? What? Where are things? Where are things? Where are you hiding from me? Okay, there we go. Fuel tanks. We could have another. We have two upgoer stages. All right. So this is our still initial get me up stage. This is our get me into like near orbit or 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 actual proper orbit, whatever. Um. And then we could do something like this. Put on a couple of these guys. That will give us a lot more thrust. A lot more thrust. Question is, is, is it worth saving? I don't think it is yet. We're not dealing with amounts of money that really add up to much yet. Um, I mean, yeah. I could put some Sepatrons on here too, but... Meh. Yeah. Heck, why not? Why not, indeed? Just to be silly. I think these things do actually give you an appreciable amount of thrust right away. Oop. There we go. Six Sepatrons. Just add them to the pile. All right, this is way more rocket than we really should need. Oh no, 20, okay, so I have over, we have too much tonnage. Okay. I knew there was a reason we couldn't do this. It's our tonnage now. Let's see, I don't think this'll work. Let's try it anyways. I've done this before, this like stage of dealing with technology and whatnot, but it's been a while, <laughs> so I've forgotten the uh, you know, little tricks and doodads with dealing with small tonnages and whatnot. But you know, we can, we can get going. Gravity turns slowly. And then kind of lean into it. I don't know why it's always on the other side of the planet. Okay. I again do not think I have done this very well. What did I do before? I don't remember. I must have had something other than... Did I have like the LVT 909? Maybe I did. That thing has a lot better efficiency. But only in a vacuum. So we can get above 70,000 easily enough. That's not really the point though. The point is that we wanted to get into orbit all at once. Hmm. And so we will revert. And this is where people who are good at, like, actually doing delta-v calculations are just shaking their heads. And I don't disagree with them. So, we're going to do this completely differently. We're going to do this a stupid way, right? We're going to get an LVT-909 on there. Right, right. And we're going to go up and then sideways. Which should be significantly less efficient. Or maybe I should put engines on. Oh, no, let's just watch. Okay. My 
staging was messed up again. Actually, I want that there. Okay. T. No! So now, our goal is to try to get up as fast as we can. Instead of doing a gravity turn. So very similar to what we were doing before. Only I'm going to try to add horizontal velocity at the, the last minute. Yay. Oh, that was dumb. Wait, sorry. I always forget to throttle up. I mean, I don't always forget to throttle up, but when I'm streaming and or talking, etc. Then I forget to throttle up. Thought things didn't sound quite right. Also, also, if this doesn't work, we're just gonna get above 70,000. Get into orbit with the next one. Maybe buy an upgrade to deal with the tonnage problem. And just, because that seems to be the, the easiest way of getting around that problem. If I could make a rocket that can get us into orbit, no problem. It's just that I'm not very good at making small, efficient rockets that can get us into orbit. Apparently. I thought I was better than this. Clearly I am not. Hmm. My plan does not seem to be working the way I was hoping it would. Alright. Start the turn there. If this works. So the LVT 909 has much higher efficiency. <laughs> it doesn't burn fuel as fast. But I still don't think we have a chance. Let's wait and try to get. I want to get into or out of the atmosphere. We're fighting gravity here. Before I really use this rocket much, right? Um. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. We have music again. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one of these. This is also incredibly inefficient. But let's see if it gets us into orbit. The other thing I'm worried about, so you can see the periapsis here, is 600 kilometers underground. Uh, <laughs> the other problem is, what if we get into orbit and then we can't get back down? Hmm. Which I don't think is going to be an issue, because I don't think we're getting to orbit today. We're only going 760 meters per second. I think we we only have another 700 or so of Delta V. And uh, I think we need to be at, what, 2,000 and some? I don't remember. This plan almost worked. In a way that amuses me. And yes, I know I have the throttle down a bit. That's actually on purpose. Uh, you know... It's one of those, like, why am I bothering if I'm gonna revert it anyways? The amount of Delta V we're missing, or that I've poorly managed, isn't, isn't too bad. Right, so we'd need enough to get into the sky and then enough to get out of the sky. And so we will try one more time. One more time. One more time. And then, uh, to making orbiting craft and that with all of the limitations we have now launch yes yes three seconds of elevator music 
And silence. Go! So we actually lost a little bit of initial thrust. But I added a bunch of Delta V on the top half. Which I did because that half is more efficient. So we're going to do kind of the same thing we did last time. Just to say pretty much just go up. At least at first here. We're going to get the map kind of in the sort of kind of right spot. I think we just lost those. All right. I don't know why that sound effect screws up. Usually it works, but today it seems to be having trouble. Okay. Now, last time I started leaning over a little bit right before this ran out of fuel. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah, let's start to lean a little bit. Not too much. Just a tad. We're still going up. This launch went differently. I don't like that. Thrust. I think I'm cutting it closer than I like to, but we can see our altitude right there, or we can hover over the guy. Um, wait until we're above seventy thousand, and then go. And you see, another nice thing is that this lets me see how much fuel I have from the map view, which is important. It also lets me see map information from the this view. That's pretty much why we use Flight Engineer. Although I, I still don't, I still don't know if we're gonna get orbit with this. I kind of feel like we're not going to. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Hard to say. Actually, it's not that hard to say. I think, I think we won't. Negative 500. A ah, nice shallow angle here. I can throttle up now that we're kind of on the apoapsis, give or take. Which means we should have more efficient burn now. That's why I was throttling down before. It's because you want to have your... Your burns beyond the apoapsis or periapsis because of the oberth effect. Which is pretty much the extent of that that I know. And of course, now that we're crossing the apoapsis, everything's going to go horribly wrong. Also, we're running out of fuel. 30 seconds of fuel. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. <laughs> oh, so close. Well, now we're running into the actual issue of what if I get into orbit but can't get back down ish. Whoa. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Forty meters per second. I don't think that's enough. I don't think it is. Uh wanna have enough to get back down. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Ah, oh, 46.7. We were oh, just the tiniest amount from achieving orbit. Just, just the tiniest, tiniest little, maybe, I don't know, maybe about two sepatrons worth of thrust worth. Or maybe just bad piloting. You think we can just try to refly this one? I bet, I bet this one would work with better flying. 
If I was Scott Manley, I could do this with a piece of toothpick and something. Or a band. That's the meme, right? All right. Or, or, should we try this again? Should we try this again? Maybe we should just get rid of the science. I wanted to get a bunch of science, but now, or, or I mean, I could upgrade stuff, but like now I just want to beat this. All right. We've reduced our tonnage slightly, which would give us more well, that gives us more space to put fuel, doesn't it? On that, hmm. Hmm. That puts us over, but... If we get rid of all of our Sepatrons, that puts us back under. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. All right, let's try it. The game is much less trial and error. I, it, frankly, frankly, at this point, like I either should have just done something else or upgraded the launch pad because I don't think that's incredibly expensive. Memory serves, uh, or um, whatever. But I don't want this thing to defeat me. Screw it. We're gonna, we're going to do it. I might edit out parts of this whole big long thing. This might be a shorter episode than I was initially thinking. We'll see. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was trying to steer me the wrong way. That wasted a little bit of fuel. That makes me not happy. Okay, well, we turn slightly. Change to orbit view here. Um. When should I start my turn? I think I started at a little over 15 last time. So we'll start it at about 16. There we go. Apoaps is 40. So now we have a bit more fuel. We're still not in space yet. Well, we're not even close to space, and we're... Not going to get to space. This is that same problem of like, did adding the fuel just slow me down enough so that I burn all of the fuel, making up for the fuel, the like mass that I added? Uh, okay. I'm gonna get this up to, let's say, 77, and then I'm gonna cut thrust and hope that we don't fall too fast. All right, that's going kind of slow. That's good, that's good. Uh, steer this way. Maybe I should... See, I'm... Uh, hmm. It might be more efficient to just go along the... The prograde vector here, but man, I'm not an engineer. Well, actually, I am, but I'm not this kind of engineer. So I'm going to do this because that's what I've been doing. And that's what our previous numbers are based on. See, software engineers just keep trying it until it works. That's what we do. Try a thing. Well, that didn't work. Try a different thing. Well, that worked less. Okay, try something the opposite of that. Okay, well, that worked more. All right, we need to actually point up some. We want that number to be going down, up. Oh, that number needs to go up, up, go up that number. Okay, we're doing okay. All right. It's working out, it's working out. Maybe I should get a joystick. That might make using this game, playing this game, easier. Might make flying planes easier. That's something I'm always really bad at. Even making a plane that does or doesn't completely suck, I'm still bad at flying it. Okay. Coming along. We've still got... Um, 
1600 meters per second of delta V left. That might be enough. That should be enough. That would be enough for someone who is a better pilot than me. Our goal, literally, is just to get that just a skosh above 70,000 and then cut thrust and then I was going to do some science, but I think all we're going to be doing is a crew report since I got rid of the science canisters. And then turn around, thrust the other way, and hope that we land in water. Assuming, of course, that we get... That's, that's our goal. That's... And I think we're going to get there. I think we're fine. I probably could have lowered the amount of fuel uh, in one of these. <laughs> Kept the science canisters and whatever. We're not trying it again. This one is successful. I don't care what you say. Seventy. There. Look at that. Orbit Kerbin. Fifty-nine thousand. Worth it. Not really. Escape the atmosphere. Do a crew report. Five science. All that for five science. Actually, that's not true. We're going to get some science for having a thing that's orbited Kerbin. Plus, he should get some experience because this is a big enough deal. And look at how much fuel we have left. That's like enough to get back from the moon or Minmus. Well, but the moon anyways. Um, actually, no, probably Minmus. Minmus is further away, but it has so much less gravity. It's so much easier to leave. Um, all right. Down we go. Basically, we just had to get it below 70 because then the atmosphere would, would knock us down. Um, but I wanted to land it in the ocean. So this should hopefully... I'm going to keep try to reserve just a tiny bit. There we go. I'm going to turn off SAS. We might still end up not landing in the ocean because I can't see very well. Oh well. Hopefully things will be okay. We might end up losing some stuff, but eh. At this point, as long as Jebediah survives, I'm happy. Once we get to 27, I will, uh, first of all, once we get below about 30, we'll start to see those nice orange markers around, orange, uh, re-entry flares. Because we're going too fast. And there we go. Look at that. And even though we're going super fast, I'm still going to deploy my parachutes. And look, they aren't burning up because of video games. Eee. I promise this game will get dramatically more interesting once we start putting crap into orbit. That part's so fun. I mean, I, it's, I think it's fun. Anyways. Alright. Yep, yeah, there's ocean. Oh, everything's great. Everything is great. This only took like eight, nine, ten tries. I don't know. But whether, it, you know, if I, depending on how I edited this, you, you guys came along with me on this journey of me not remembering how to build a rocket under 18 tons that can go into orbit. But here we are. We orbited. We deorbited. We've got 52 meters per second of fuel left. We're going less than 5 meters per second into the ocean, so I don't need to use that fuel. Which I was only going to use if we landed on land. Um, and we can recover our vessel and we'll get a little bit extra science because it's been out into space. Because, you know, once you're past the atmosphere... Whoa! Recover. There we go. Ooh, look at that. 15 science. So much. Much science. 
Uh, we got a little bit of money back. It's not too bad. Jebediah got an experience point and advanced to level one. Huzzah. So let's look at how much these things. Let's look at some numbers before we go here, because I think we're going to wrap up this recording session. So upgrading this would give us it's 52,000, which frankly, we can probably afford right now, but it would give us uh, longer ships available. And tonnage goes from 18 tons to 140 tons, which is pretty significant. Frankly, with what we have, with some creativity and more technology, we could probably get to Minmus, maybe, maybe even to to and from Minmus, and maybe even to and from the moon. Uh, to the moon is easy, but leaving the moon is not necessarily the easiest. Um, but still, might just upgrade anyways because because. Uh, the vehicle assembly building right now we can only have up to 30 parts. We have not been bumping up against that really But we will soon this would be a little expensive to upgrade right now. That would be kind of all of our money So we don't want to do that yet uh, But once we upgrade from 30 to 255 That'll carry us most of the way until stuff gets a little bit crazy the space center Upgrading this is a little bit expensive not having patched conics, which is what you get for upgrading it is really annoying uh, trying to like ne negotiate your um, orbits and stuff without having patched conics. It's whew. but I can get us to Minmus at least. Uh, may maybe the moon. I could probably get us to the moon as long as we don't need to get off the moon uh, without upgrading this. Upgrading uh, the astronaut complex. Astronaut complex. The key thing here, and this is also pretty cheap, is that it gives us the ability for Kerbals to perform EVAs and place flags. Placing flags isn't that big of a deal, except it's kind of cool. There are a couple of, like, missions you get, but whatever. Um, but uh, EVAs are big because there's a bunch of extra science you can get and whatnot. Um, let's see. This is research science limit. This is expensive. Basically, we don't need to worry about this until we start bumping into it. You'll know when we do. By the time we start bumping into it, it's not going to be an issue, money-wise, so. Uh, the administration building, if we want to have more strategies or a heavier commitment, we can do that. Uh, again, doesn't cost very much, but probably not worth it at the moment. Uh, mission control, active contracts. Going from 2 to 7 is a very large jump, because 2 is incredibly limiting, and 7 is not very limiting at all. It's also pretty cheap. We might want to do this soon. Uh frankly. So I'm thinking, like, the key ones are, you want to get early are astronaut complex, uh, mission control, and probably launch pad, right? Um, I'm not going to be using the airstrips much because I'm bad at flying. Maybe one of these days I'll stream me learning how to fly and not sucking at it and or getting a joystick. Basically everyone I've heard who's good at flying uses a joystick, so maybe that's the answer. Um, but yeah, I think I've gone through everything, haven't I? Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm probably going to do wrap-up stuff. Otherwise, so next session we'll... Next session we'll... Let's look at... Let's get a preview of what's available for next session. Explore the moon. Hmm. That's kind of a lot of money. That's kind of a lot of science. Maybe we should do this next time. Hmm? 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 Or rescue Alan Kerman, who is stuck in orbit right now. That might be nice to do. We could do that. That's hard <laughs> without patched conics, but it's possible. I've done it. It's also hard without SA, uh, RCS. But again, I've done it. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, see you guys next time.